Hi, it's Mac Gizmo Guy. It's been a while since I did a video. As you can see, I'm back in my little cabin in the woods and I moved back out to the country where I have a local phone company who charges me an absolute arm and a leg, not just for long distance, but for even towns 20, 15, 20 miles away. I have to pay long distance charges. And I'm battling back against that with my Mac by using what they call VoIP, Voice Over Internet Protocol. It's not new, it's been around, and, it, and voice over internet has been possible actually since the dial-up modem days. But now that we have broadband, we can do real high quality audio for telephone calls. And a lot of people may already be using that with a bundle from your cable company and that. Um, where you get both high-speed internet and unlimited calling. They may provide that all in one box. But for Mac owners who are interested on getting a toe wet, and experiencing VoIP for themselves, one of the most popular ways to do it is using Skype. There are other programs, Yahoo Messenger 3 now uh, supports VoIP phone calls and the ability to purchase minutes for long distance and stuff while still allowing you to call friends for free and calling like within the United States at a very, very low rate. Well, to make that easier and rather than using just the built-in microphone and optionally webcam in my MacBook. For a good sound quality to cut down on echo, I bought a dedicated Mac VoIP phone. And after researching them a little bit and learning more about this in general, I set up a website, macvoipchat.com. And the first phone that I chose to buy is actually this really neat phone from IPVO. And what's good about it, one, is unlike many of the other USB-based phones, they write software dedicated to the Mac, and it integrates really well with Skype. This phone has a built-in microphone and earpiece, and basically it does just act like two audio USB audio devices, so I could actually use this to talk and listen to a call with iChat or anything else by just going into my sound settings. But the neat thing about this IPVO Phone 1 is that it has a built-in screen, and it can integrate with your address book and with Skype's address book to show you exactly uh, your contacts in that. Let me launch something here. All right. So after launching the software that comes with the IPVO phone, and it's great, they write software specific for the Mac as well, the screen lights up here, and I can see and move through. It basically has buttons to initiate and hang up a call. It has a neat little jog thing so that as I press up or down on this, it moves me through the contact list. It has, obviously, a dial pad. On the side, it has volume up and down controls, so I can adjust that while I'm making a call. On this side, it has a mute button, which is really nice. Uh, so when you want to swear at somebody else while you're in the middle of a call, you can do that too. Um, and this is all connected via a nice thin USB cable. The phone is a little bit smaller and narrower than I imagined when I was looking at product pictures and that. Um, but it's a fairly good size. And it also comes with a really nice heavy weighted base uh, to it so that the phone just plunks in there and sits. This is saving me a ton of money. Um, my Skype long distance calls, I basically, every other month, I buy $10 worth of credits and I can pretty much make the long distance and local calls that I need to right from my computer. Works great. I did try a year and then some ago, my first experience with VoIP was with another rather cheap USB phone, this one made by US Robotics. Notice how it sort of has a display area, but there's no display, it's just a piece of plastic. Um, but it at least had the basic things for initiating a Skype call and start dialing and hanging up. Um, and not, not much else. The big problem I've had with this, and we see it connects by a little USB cable, is that US Robotics has not been good about keeping their drivers current for the Mac. This used to sort of work. I tried it lately on system 1057, and sometimes this will show up as USB speakers and microphone, and then their little audio application craps out and crashes. It just doesn't work. Um, so I bought this at Walmart for 8 bucks in their clearance section, so it's not a big loss. I can't recommend this phone. This phone, however, is proving to be a pretty neat little thing. To learn about it and other VoIP voice over internet solutions to save you some money on long distance calling, visit my website, and we'll do another episode soon. Thanks.